Okay, so one of my favorite parts of this whole situation is that these two things, the camera and the action pod, are always connected to each other. So I'll just hit power on this, and it fires up that, sends a signal wirelessly to this, and now I can see exactly what I'm doing and adjust my angles. It's crazy. Okay, so there's a new action camera on the market. Big deal, there's always new action cameras on the market. But this one is a little different. A little bit different. Different. Is, but this one is a little bit different. So this is the Insta360 GO 3. It's essentially the camera that I've been waiting for for about six or seven years now. I'll show you why. As a successor to the GO 2, we knew this camera was gonna be small, but Insta360 took the GO 3's capabilities to a whole nother level. They upped the resolution to 2.7K. It has twice the battery life of the GO 2, which is huge. It now includes what they're calling an action pod that has a flip screen and a wireless connection to the camera portion. There are also new color profiles that I am quite happy about. And the GO 3 itself weighs just 35 grams. But you still have to figure out whether it's worth your time and money. So Beth and I are gonna go up into the hills and I'm gonna show you some normal ways of using an action camera. And then we're gonna take it out of the action pod and we're gonna try some unique things with it that you really could only do with this camera. Let's go. All right, so first shot, we're gonna go for that classic chest-mounted POV shot. You can go for kind of like the more full-size situation and this just connects onto here, whatever angle you need it to be at. It's probably not the best angle, but that's okay. Just for illustrative purposes, works just like how you would normally have an action camera or how I'm going to be using it in this situation. I'm gonna pull this off and using the exact same mount, I can toss this on here. It clips on the same way the action pod does. And now I've got a chest mounted camera that I can't even tell it's there. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it's so nice having such a lightweight camera on. So, so here's what I imagine. I imagine having the action pod on the chest mount, you're riding along, getting shots like this, but then you know you're gonna be on a steep trail and then you can just pop it, pop it on your uh, visor mount. Just pop it off here, pop it on there. That seems like the dream to me. Okay, we got Bethy here. She does a lot of our social media stuff in addition to all the other million things she does with the Lone Ranger channel. I wanna try out the chin mount for Instagram because I'm always looking for a different crop. I don't want the wide crop on Instagram. I'm looking for a vertical or square. We're gonna try a chin mount. So the thing is about this camera is that it actually has a square sensor. And so when you're shooting in regular video mode, you are shooting in that 16 by nine format, whether that's vertical or horizontal. But if you go into free frame mode, which this thing has, you're now recording the entire square sensor. And so once you do that, you can go into the Insta360 app. You have the entire, like everything to work with. So you can crop 16 by nine, nine by 16, or you can export it one to one, the full square. And I personally think, and I think you'd probably agree, that getting as much real estate as possible I onto that sensor. <laughs> I would agree with myself that having that square crop, I think it's, I think that's amazing for Instagram. Yeah. Like, yeah, you're not getting the very top edges, but to be honest, there's so much junk up in the top and on the bottom of somebody's Instagram screen anyways, just like maximum frame right in the middle. Hey. So let's try free frame mode. Yeah. Let's make and, it light. Uh, let's make it light so that it doesn't bother my neck. Yep. So seeing Beth with this setup really made me realize how having a lightweight camera on a helmet is perfect for filming trails or features where there is already a lot of forces on the rider's head to begin with. That's when I really, really noticed the weight of a camera. And James agreed, so he wanted to try out this camera on his helmet to hit a road gap that he's never done before. Don't know what it is about road gaps, man, but they scare me. Maybe it's because of all that hype with Brutus. You're a little damaged. I am a little damaged after that. Come on, bike. Drop in. <laughs> I missed the whole landing. And here's me with the camera clipped onto my helmet visor, hitting a pretty big feature with a decent G out. And you can see two different versions that I've exported. Was it like jogging speed? Is that what it was? Yeah. A square version and a vertical version. Sick. Okay, so I messed up on the settings for this shot and I didn't realize until after the fact. But I did take this general idea to capture a different shot that would be absolutely impossible to get with a full size action camera. The Go 3, on a tiny little stick sticking out about a foot and a half away from my bike using plastic camera mounts. This really should not be possible. We have this like 
giant selfie stick. So it's a pretty long selfie stick. Putting like full weight cameras on, on the end of this thing, it gets a little floppy and a little scary. But let's put the Go 3 on there and try and get some sick shots of Beth jumping. But here's a cool thing, this is the best part, is that I'm gonna have this camera running on the end of this pole and it's so light that it can actually be on the end of the pole. But then I've got the action pod right here with the screen flipped up and I can see what's going on the whole time. I feel powerful in this pose. My favorite thing with this new little camera is just how light it feels. So having yep. it on the chin mount and then totally forgetting I have a camera on there was really awesome. Yeah, that's not something we've really been able to do <laughs> ever. You always know the camera is there and now uh, you kind of don't, which is which is pretty amazing. So I think even for like rolling up to like, say you're rolling up to the a trailhead to just yeah. have that smaller camera and then it doesn't feel like such a big deal to other people also. It takes the camera pressure off because <laughs> if you just have this on your helmet, my, oh, it's not. If you just have that on your helmet, nobody really cares. It's just having fun recording your, your rides or whatever you're doing. So for me, between the lightness of this and the full capabilities of these two things together, I am going to be taking this on every single filming trip we go on from now on. To get the creative shots, to get those steep shots on the helmet or just helmet shots in general. For mm -hmm. social media shots, it's kind of the everything camera. So yeah, Insta360 GO 3. We've got a link down in the description below. So if you want to go and check it out, you can use that if you like. Yeah, if you want to see more from this camera, subscribe. We'll see you um, probably in like 24 hours for the next video. It's a big <laughs> week. See you then. I